welcome to Tasmania TV. I have a very fun collaboration video for you today with the lovely Lynn, who's here with me today to show you guys Extreme Hair Dye 101. And you are here from Blue Fox, which is an awesome alternative shop here in Stockholm. You want to tell my followers a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, uh, Blue Fox is uh, basically a store that sells mostly clothes, but also extreme hair dyes. And we get customers that hasn't really done it before, but really wants to uh, try different kind of hair colors. So we wanted to give them some kind of reference for how to do it in the most basic, easiest way and get the best results as well. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited also. And if you ever are in Stockholm or if you live here, if you're visiting, we do urge you to walk into the store because it's awesome. And you guys have been around for 30 years celebrating yeah. that this year, right? 87. That's pretty awesome. That's the year they, they opened. And uh, unlike um, like other stores, we only sell things with studs and skulls and dragons and stuff like that. So All the good things. Yeah, we keep it metal and goth. And the store is located in the middle of the city, so it's super easy to find and very close to the subway and everything like that. Yeah. And we're actually going to give you a little bit of a makeover today. Yes. Yes, you have a lovely minty green hair color right now. Mm -hmm. But what are we going to do? It used to be very radiantly green. About two months ago, I used a stargazer dye called UV Green, but it has now faded into a um, kind of... <laughs> Minty. Minty kind mm -hmm. of uh, pastel color, which is not really my style. I like to go bald. I want to look like a traffic light walking around. and uh, that's I know why, that feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to change it today. So that's nice. And we are changing it into... Orange. Bright, design. bright, yeah. fiery orange. Yeah, I'm really looking to get this kind of, uh, you know kind of bright, almost radiant look orange, like on the yellow side of orange. Like spectrum. your head is on fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I like that. That's the thought I want. Well, that's why I'm wearing my awesome slouchy pajamas now, because I don't want to get dye on my awesome stuff. Um, shall we take a look at all the things one requires when doing this kind of thing at home? Yeah. Because neither of us, we should uh, say that neither of us are like professionally trained hairstylists, yeah. but we both have been doing this for a while lots of experience yes and, uh, and it is studies and yeah. and it is easy to do these kind of things and there are a lot of you out there asking like how to do this and what kind of tools you need and everything like that so we we want to help well let's take a look at some tools that you might require Starting by bleaching your regrowth or your roots. And we're going to be using the Manic Panic Flash Lightning Volume 30 kit, which is one of my personal favorites. I have a 40 volume as well, but that is for darker hair or already dyed hair. Uh, dark. Yeah, and the 30 volume, it gets the, the job done. Like, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. That's the one I use as well. And after that, we're going to be applying three different kinds of orange. We're going to be using the Stargazer UV Red, the Directions Tangerine, and the Directions Apricot. And all of these products are cruelty-free and vegan, and obviously available at Blue Fox. And we're going to protect your pretty outfit yes. <laughs> with this little thing. If you don't have an old ugly t-shirt like I do, you can use one of these or like a sheet or anything like that. And you have a lot of hair. I don't have as much hair, so you, you, you need a little bit more product and it's good to have a friend help you at least the first couple of times you do it. Yeah. Like every single thing that you guys, guys saw us show you amongst the tools, you find like budget versions of these inside, like the plastic cap and the gloves and the brush. But if you want to get that fancier stuff, you can buy that set as well. If you're going to do it once, 
you might not need more tools than what are in these kits but if you do you plan to do it more or you know more regular you should definitely get your own tools it, do, it does make sense yeah yeah feels like i'm gonna tattoo you or something <laughs> Ooh, i wish so we have the bleach powder first which is blue yes and this is our regular um peroxide bleach basically we get in a really nice little kit mm -hmm. and then you have the cream developer and that's basically it you have two ingredients yeah super easy and then you just stir yeah until it is ready brush my hair yes multitasking the chemical reaction is only active for so long so make sure to do this when you're ready to go like don't let it sit for too long that's the difference between the product that you mix and the pre-made stuff yeah look at that nice blue color mm-hmm Ah, I can't wait to have that on my scalp. <laughs> it's gonna feel mm, good. It's gonna be itching and feel hot and, you know, bubble a bit. But if it ever hurts or feels burning, wash it out immediately. Yeah, you might be allergic. Actually, yeah. if you haven't if you haven't bleached your head before, you could do like an allergy test on your arm yeah. before just to make sure that you're not allergic because that is not fun. You do have some green left, but it is so light that we decided that you don't need to bleach this anymore in order for the orange to take over because the orange is a very potent, awesome color and it's gonna very look pigmented. orange. It's gonna look, yeah, and it's gonna look orange even though there is green underneath. So we're just gonna bleach the roots and in order to not get bleach all over the place, I'm gonna be using the combs and sort of section the hair off and then brush it with one of the brushes. I'm gonna take my earrings out. Yes. Because this bleach does not go well with metals. <laughs> and why is that? It's because of the chemical reaction, I think, and uh, it could it could damage the jewelry. Yeah. Basically, uh, if that. you're very unlucky, it could damage the jewelry. Basically. When doing roots, you should always apply the bleach about an inch up on the uh, already bleached. Yeah, so that you don't get like lines or uh, yeah yeah. La, 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 la. I think it's you don't want to leave it in for too long um, if you don't have to. Because it's damaging for your hair. You don't want to damage your hair more than you have to. <laughs> yeah. We are almost done, almost. Mm. And after I've applied everything, I'm gonna go through the entire head just to make sure that I haven't missed a spot because that can be so freaking frustrating. You rinse it out and you're like, fuck, it's still brown in the back. God damn it. It's okay. <laughs> it's your reputation. <laughs> well, it's your hair. <laughs> uh, it's just hair. I like it too. <laughs> Put the yeah. little plastic cap on. And do you want to tell them why we do this? Uh, we do this just to keep the product uh, moisturized. We keep the chemical reaction going, making sure that it doesn't get too dry because then it doesn't bleach anymore and it's you're just working. walking around with putty on your head it doesn't do anything and this helps keep it warm like your head gets really really warm in there yeah so we put this on first and then you put the beanie like random beanie over it mm-hmm a beanie that you don't care about obviously because you might get bleach on it but that just helps keep it warm and just helps the process it helps the chemical reaction going yeah and we're going to leave this in for about an hour now and then rinse and come back and continue with the rest of the process. Alrighty, we have rinsed and you're now very yellowy blonde in your roots. And now we're going to do the next part, which is mix together the colors that you're going to be using all yes. over. So which ones are we going to mix? You can do it. We're going to mix apricot from Directions. This is a very yellow based orange. It's a beautiful orange color. Oh. Yes. Can't wait. And if you wanted to dilute this, like get it a light orange, you could mix some conditioner in there. That's yeah. a great way of... Just make sure the conditioner does not contain any silicones. What will Be happen then? Because silicones puts like a, um, a veil over your hairs. Your hairs are made out of fibers. And uh, when there's silicone on it, your fibers close. Yeah, so it like protects the hair from the dye. Yeah, so the dye won't have any way of going in. And now I'm gonna take some UV red from Stargazer. 
very nice. And we should tell people that because you're mixing two different brands now, Stargazer and Directions. Yeah. And some of you might be going, what? Can you do that? And you totally can. You can mix together colors from the same brand, create your own color, like I've done with the red in my bangs. This is a mm -hmm. very orangey red, and I mix some pink in it to get it more bright red. And then you can mix from different brands, as long as it's the same kind of pre-made ones. It's the same kind of product, it's yeah. fine. Um, so you can create your own color. Yeah. I think that will be enough because mm -hmm. we have a third little ingredient. This. It's called yes. tangerine from Directions, which is a darker, more rich kind of orange. And there we go. Another nice little Ooh, putty. It's lovely. It See, looks like blood. Yeah, and it, it's much darker, this one. So I think I'm just going to put maybe half of it in there. And we're going to mm. apply that all over now. So all over it. While you're brushing, I can mention that these gloves, like the really, really sturdy gloves that came in that package with the brush and the uh, plastic little cap thingy, you can clean these, like rinse them off and then keep using them. You cannot do that with the really, really cheap ones because they will break and just, it won't work. But these, this is why it's worth spending a little bit more on the tools, like getting the right stuff. It's a nice you investment. Well, you can use it again and again. It's better for the environment. If you, if you care about that, it which is. you should, you should, you should. <laughs> there you are. So now I'm going to do what we did with the bleach, which is just apply what's left over. We're almost out and then go over everything like massage it in, make sure it gets into the the scalp because we don't want like blonde patches. I'll just roll it up. Mm -hmm. Sausage style. Yeah. All right, we're gonna leave this in for how long? About an hour. Ta da! <laughs> I'm really happy with the result. Fabulous. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions about the products we used or anything more that you've seen in this video that you think that we forgot maybe, you should put that in the comments below. And you should go ahead and go check out the Blue Fox website, which is bluefox.nu. And I'll put all the links in the uh, caption below. And if they want to follow you on Instagram, you're Space Platypus. Yeah, I'm, I'm Space Platypus. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Instagram name. I'll put that below as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll put the, the, like, the names of all the colors that we used and the brands and everything. That is it. Do you have anything more to add? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to enjoy this new color. Thank you for coming here on Tasmania TV and letting me play with your hair. <laughs> Thank you for doing my hair. That was fun. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.